Hi. Very nice to be here tonight. Uh, this section is just a little diary entry uh, from the point of view of a middle-aged guy uh, who's married to a woman named Pam. And so that, that diary entry explains the kind of wonky syntax you'll hear in a minute. This is October 1st. Todd Grassberger funeral today at Ukrainian church downtown. Todd, apparently from humble roots. Priest equal long-haired guy in cassock. Sings, chants, whole service in Ukrainian from memory. As he chants paces, cassock broke swings. Scary guy. Very intense. Sermon. Why this surprising? Did you think you were going to live forever? <laughs> Only difference between you sitting there anticipating the rest of your day and Todd in coffin bound for eternal home in cold earth is heartbeat. <laughs> Feel that, people, in your chest? That is thin line between you and grave. <laughs> so why do you live like you are eternal? That's foolish. You are fools. This scary, this not scary, <laughs> this truth, this reality, shouts, shall we wake up? Shall we? Everyone staring big-eyed at priest, <laughs> except usual congregants who seem to have heard all before. <laughs> priest goes on, which of us will die tonight? Do we think he's being facetious? That shows we are dopes. <laughs> Any one of us could die tonight. Die right now. <laughs> Suddenly, come up short of breath, keel over in pew, be with Todd in earth in wink of eye. <laughs> Suddenly, from downstairs kitchen, smell of roast beef. <laughs> Happy chatter from church ladies down in kitchen. Smell of roast beef plus sound of pots clanking, plates being set out, equal appealing. People shifting in pews due to amazing smell of beef. <laughs> Todd's two brothers come to lectern, make tributes. Older brother, Todd sweet. Todd funny. Todd a powerful force in his life. We'll never forget, wonder, that was Todd. Younger brother, yes. Todd, super strong person. <laughs> Todd equal bull. Although Todd could be somewhat firm, Todd did younger brother much good in long run. <laughs> but by teaching him how to stand up for self. Now, that is to say, having been pushed around by Todd throughout entire childhood, nothing can now phase younger brother, i.e. no bully in outside world will ever be equal of Todd. <laughs> but Todd's so great. Todd the best. Todd's so smart, so good looking. No wonder Todd's mom plus dad always treated him, younger brother, like afterthought. <laughs> but Todd, so caring, and so perceptive, Todd understood this, would sometimes console younger brother by saying that he, younger brother, was perfectly fine in own way. <laughs> Often just before breaking pact they had made, re Wednesday night being younger brother's night to borrow dad's car, thereby ruining younger brother's chance to see girl he really liked, possible love of life. <laughs> Girl he eventually lost to Dope from Selden. Dope, whose own older brother apparently more inclined than Todd to give his younger brother a decent shot at family car. <laughs> Todd's younger brother, breathless, pauses at lectern. Can't seem to stop self. Plunges ahead. But Todd, great. Todd, so great. Todd will surely be missed. Todd taught everyone in family important lesson. Although a person might be strong, bellicose, ambitious, slightly blind to needs of others, <laughs> still, that does not mean person not greatest, most amazing brother ever, who occasionally, as if to spite self, might suddenly, surprising all, do some reasonably thoughtful thing. Younger brother, seemingly perplexed by own tribute, <laughs> then led away from lectern by scow scowling older brother, hissing something in undertone. Todd's widow approaches lectern, can't seem to speak. Three little girls clinging to her skirt. Widow hands microphone to smallest girl. Smallest girl, bye daddy. Lunch good, lunch beyond good. Fun funeral so sad, 
lunch equal heaven. <laughs> Eat three roast beef sandwiches in a row off paper plate. Outside, yellow tree blowing in wind. Single yellow leaf blows in through open basement window. Watch it come down, land near my shoe. Think, life beautiful. So glad I'm not dead. <laughs> if, when I die, do not want Pam lonely. Want her to remarry, have full life. As long as new husband is nice guy, gentle guy, religious guy. Very caring plus good to kids. But kids not fooled. <laughs> kids prefer dead dad, <laughs> i.e. me, to religious guy. Pale, boring religious guy with no oomph, who wears weird sweaters and is always a little sad due to cannot get boner, <laughs> due to physical ailment. Death very much on my mind tonight, future reader. Can it be true that I will die? That Pam, kids will die? Is awful. Why were we put here so inclined to love when end of our story equal death? That harsh, that cruel, do not like. Note to self, try harder in all things to be a better person. Thank you.